Fifteen years ago, when Thomas Ackerman and a business partner set up Canadian rangeland bison, bison farming in Alberta was generally in its infancy. Today, things are a whole lot different. In Alberta and across Canada, bison farming is growing as the industry continues to build a strong business case for itself. And for Canadian rangeland bison, the story couldn't be better. Canadian rangeland bison established markets uh, across the world, basically. Our key markets are Canada, domestic market, however, US is a key market as well. Overseas in Europe, mainly Germany and Switzerland, a little bit um, Italy and Belgium. We have a market opened in the Middle East as well, Dubai, Abu Dhabi. Ackerman says banks and government institutions have warmed up to the idea of supporting bison production because they realize that it is financially viable. And this support, he says, has enabled bison producers to access new markets in Europe and the Middle East. In this journey of expansion, the Alberta Livestock and Meat Agency, ELMA, is one institution that has supported the industry's foray into new markets abroad. Trade commissioners, government contacts are a tool as well. And then we quite often uh, participate in trade shows, overseas trade shows with help of Alma, for example, at CL or at Anuga in Germany and approach potential buyers, customers in that way in a face-to-face -face personal meeting. And then me being born and raised in Europe, I do have a network still that's very active and I can fall back on quite, quite a few contacts there to expand. But the growth in bison production wasn't always an easy journey. In the process, Ackerman says the industry has had to overcome some challenges. Bison quite often get thrown in with beef as a bovine. So whatever restrictions, market restrictions that are in place for beef, they quite often apply to bison as well. So there's tariffs uh, in place, there's quota systems in place. Certain markets are inaccessible due to um, BSE crisis, which affect clearly beef and not bison. However, the fallout of it affects us as well. We uh, struggle to open certain markets just for that reason. They're closed due to uh, BSC restrictions. In addition, the bison industry is also expected to meet labeling and packaging requirements demanded by its customers abroad. However, Ackerman believes the industry is up to the task. A new free trade agreement signed between Canada and the European Union this year opens the possibility of expanding the bison market share to all 28 countries that make up the EU. In addition, Ackerman says Canadian bison producers have an advantage over their American counterparts because Europeans trust Canadian products. And Ackerman has a few tips on what it takes to succeed in the international market. I think the key is get to know what the people are looking for. Get to know your customer, get to know his preferences, his expectations. They're not necessarily even close to what they used to in your domestic market and there's no point even trying to impose any of your own preferences on your customer, they're not going for it. The other thing is try to find a personal contact with your buyers, make the effort to meet them in person. So we uh, round them up. What we do is we actually invite potential buyers or new customers right onto the ranch, show them around, show them the animals, take them into the herds, show them Canada in a larger picture and give them the back story, what it's all about. In our case, obviously the bison story. They go back and they support your product in an even greater manner than just knowing it from papers and, and brochures.